I'm a little surprised we wake up this morning and no announcements regarding Jackson Job and the Tigers organization. Apparently he's still at this time. We no schedule the pitch, nothing. Okay. It's only a matter of time, right, Gator? By time, if you mean sometime in the next two seasons, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'd love to see him. I hope that uh hope he tears it up in the minors this year. Yeah. And that he you have to bring him up. Um, but at the same time, I kind of hope they don't. Because I hope they can tear it up in the minors, but the, the Tigers pitching has been so strong well, that it's that's not going to happen. Thing. And, and that's the thing I mentioned before the break, really trending in a good direction. Another good day yesterday. Uh, another shutout for the entire staff. Casey Mize gives him four strong innings. I mean, the, the, if you're asking me mm. in my entire life, in my entire life, but in my adult in recent years, <laughs> wow, really? Cut well, the I mean, out. I go back to when it, when I, dude, when Dave Dombrowski was was drafting, and I'm like, horde pitching, horde pitching, horde pitching. It's spring training, so all they have done is pique my interest as to what this staff is going to look like in the regular season. I'm getting more and more encouraged that some of their young arms might be blossoming, and what I'm talking about is Scubel obviously has blossomed. Mm-hmm. He's a legit Cy Young candidate. Then you got Mize, Manning, and Reese Olson. The way my eight is pitching, somebody might get squeezed out. If only we could think of who that would be. But even that guy pitched well the other day. And now you've got Jackson Job, who, who had a. Um, I think some people are overhyping that appearance. Some people. Yep. Yeah, but I'm not. Are they, I'm people, giving it the appropriate amount yeah. of attention. Some people that sit across from yours truly. Uh, which well, that is would, you. No, no, because that would be implied that it's me. Yeah. And I'm giving it the approach, appropriate amount of attention. Well, it's nice to see that high draft picks uh, that were pitchers for the Tigers organization, whether it's Mize, Manning, to a degree, even Fido and Brisky are still competing. And you go back, it's not that long ago, but it, it, well, it kind of is now as we're getting further and further away. But the, the Kenny Baas of the world, Matt Wheatland, Kyle Sleek. Sleeth. Sleeth. Yeah, Sleeth. Well, it was Sleeth. Right? Sleeth. Uh, but those guys that never made it, never panned out. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's the guy that's the uh, investor now? Justin, was it? Justin Turner. Yeah. Jacob. Jacob Turner. Jacob Turner. Thank you. Yep. Uh, the he didn't pan out. I mean, they had He's always... a great follow on Twitter, by the way. Is he not? Yeah, Justin or Jacob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is. He does financial advice now, and, and he relates it to when he was a player. So it is it's, it's a it's good It's actually ex- yeah. incredibly interesting. So it's nice to see that their recent foray into spending high draft capital, that these guys are still competing. Because those guys never really even did anything at the major league level. These mm-hmm. guys... And looking at the lower end of it, of Fiedo and Brisky, they're still fighting for it. And Fiedo has shown signs that he can still pitch, uh, and 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 maybe has a, a some kind of niche in, in Major League Baseball. But it's Mize that you're really counting on. I mean, Mize is one one. You've got to be, you got to hit on the one one, right? Yes. And it looks like he's turning things around. If he can stay healthy, he's having an encouraging spring. Yes. He's, and the, particularly last night was really nice to see. I hope he can continue to pitch well and stay injury free. And if that's the case, then they've got something there. People talk about Matt Manning's got a different attitude. He's got an edge to him and all this. Great. Okay. Wait, he's got a different attitude. Well, that's what people are saying that he's he's got this edge to him, and he just Matt Manning's got an edge. Yeah. Awesome. I didn't realize he had an edge. Yeah, he's got an edge. You know, a little different. He's made differently. His makeup is different. His constitution <laughs> is different. He's ready to ready to advance this year. Maybe this is the year that he steps forward. He's different. There's something about him. I knew he was pitching better. I didn't realize he had an edge too. Yeah, he's an edge. All right. Well. He's different. Uh, <laughs> he's. Got an edge, people. He's got an edge. You you're doubting this? Um no. No, I'm not. Does this mean he's like 
looks mean. He's mean mugging batters. Mean mugging. <laughs> you know what's, This is so funny. I'm looking at the, the, the spring training stats. Matt Manning has thrown eight innings. Yep. But he's only given up four hits, Doug. Of course, he's given up f- all four of those hits, by the way, have been home runs. Really? <laughs> yeah. He's pitched four, four hits. Home runs and three walks in addition to that. He struck out 11 in the eight innings. What's uh, Casey Mize at? Casey Mize has pitched 10 and two-thirds innings, and? given up eight hits, four and runs, no home runs, seven walks. That's a that's a lofty number. He had a bad first Ten strikeouts. Up. Yes, he and did. And by the way, say it correctly. Say it the way uh, Casey Buck- Mize. <laughs> Turn the last name Mize into a four-syllable name. It feels like the entire pitching staff of the Tigers started the spring with an awful start, Mm -hmm. and they've all corrected since then, but the numbers still don't look good because of that awful start. What's RO? Uh, Reese Olsen, 10 and two-thirds innings, Mm -hmm. nine hits, Mm -hmm. five earned runs, 10 strikeouts. But again, it's a guy who had a terrible outing and has made up since then. Yep. I'm liking it. My eight has been good. Nine innings, two earned runs. I uh, like it. Your boy Jack Flaherty. Needs an edge. He doesn't have the edge like Manning does. No. Manning's got an edge. Yeah, money. Right. Yeah. Anyway. I actually, you know what? I mean, Manning's an imposing figure. He is six six and he's He's athletic. Yeah, he's not. Very athletic. He doesn't look uh He'll intimidate you now. He can stay healthy. Mm-hmm. Well, you got intimidate because he's got that edge. He's got an edge. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a feeling young young Gator Anderson was saying a lot of the same things about those other players that never made it here. Uh, you know, I never Kenny Ball. Kenny Ball and, he's got and an Cal edge. Sleeth and never got a chance to see those guys play. Did you see uh, Cameron Mabin's chicken wing? Man, that thing looks that he's is round that, and base. We, we definitely yeah. saw the chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks uh, Yeah. He's got an how, edge. How is he so fast with that with that arm that was just nowhere Flailing near out where there. it should have been? Don't know. Anyway, inside of two weeks to opening day. LFG. LFG. All right, so I'm happy with the pitching. Happy with the pitching. And that's not even including my boy, JJ. Right. Bo Brisky, seven and two-thirds innings. Yeah. You know any hits he's given up? Uh, Four and a third. None. <laughs> four and a third hits. <laughs> yeah. No hits in seven and two-thirds innings. So he's working on a spring training no-hitter? That's what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. He's been great.